One day, the wife texted her husband, Remember to get vegetables on your way home. Then she added, Your friend Susan is here. The husband asked, Susan? Who is my friend Susan? His wife confessed, No one. I just wanted to make sure you read my message. Don't forget the vegetables. Surprised, the husband responded, Funny, I was so surprised when you said that Susan is over there because she is here with me. Confused and upset, the wife asked, Where? He replied, Near the vegetable market. Hurriedly, the wife got ready and headed to the market. After ten minutes, she texted her husband, Where are you? The husband replied, I'm at the office, dear. Since you're at the market, could you buy some vegetables? Lies to test trust can backfire fast. Clear communication makes love last. Subscribe for more. One day, two sisters, Lily and Rose, were inseparable. They played together, <laughs> helped each other with homework, and shared secrets. One sunny afternoon, they sat in the backyard, enjoying their time together. You're the best sister ever, said Lily to Rose. Every day, they would explore the neighborhood together, picking flowers and chasing butterflies. One morning, Lily had to finish a project and forgot to water their plants. As they sat outside, Rose noticed the drooping flowers. I forgot to water them, Lily sighed. Can we share the watering? She asked. Rose shook her head. No, I need all the water for myself, she replied selfishly, then walked away. Watching her go, Lily felt disheartened. Their mom saw what happened and said, It's better to have a single flower that blooms with kindness than a garden full of selfishness. One day, a man went to a barber shop. He had a nice talk with the barber. They started talking about God. The barber said, I don't believe in God. If God were real, why would there be sick people and abandoned children? If God existed, there would be no pain or suffering. I can't love a God who lets bad things happen. The man thought about this, but didn't argue. As he left, he saw a man with long hair and a beard. He looked messy and hadn't had a haircut in a while. The man went back to the barber shop and said, You know what? Barbers don't exist. The barber was surprised. But I'm right here. I'm a barber. The man replied, No, they don't exist. If they did, that man outside wouldn't have long hair and a beard. The barber realized, Ah, barbers do exist. People just don't come to me. The man smiled. Exactly. That's the point. God exists too. People don't seek him. That's why there's so much pain and suffering. One day, a man found an eagle's egg. He put it in a nest with barnyard hens. The eagle hatched with the other chicks and grew up with them. Throughout his life, he acted like a barnyard chicken. He scratched for worms and clucked. Years went by. Then one day, he saw a magnificent bird flying above him. It soared gracefully with strong wings. The old eagle was amazed. Who's that? He asked. That's the eagle, the king of birds, said his neighbor. He belongs to the sky. We belong to the earth. We're chickens. So the eagle lived and died, thinking he was a chicken. The moral of the story. When you're surrounded by chickens, it's hard to fly like an eagle. The people you're with can shape who you become. So, are you a chicken or an eagle? Choose your friends wisely. Once, a young boy went to a telephone booth at a store's cash counter and made a call. The store owner listened in on the conversation. The boy asked, Ma'am, I'm a poor boy. Can I cut your grass? The woman on the other end said, Sorry, I already have someone. The boy then offered, I'll do it for half the price. But the woman declined, saying she was happy with her current worker. Undeterred, the boy offered to sweep her floors and stairs for free. Still, the woman politely refused. With a smile, the boy hung up. The store owner, impressed, approached him and offered a job. However, the boy politely declined, explaining that he was actually the person already working for the woman he had called. Dedicate yourself to becoming exceptional in your work. One day, the wolves sent a messenger to the sheep. The messenger said, We're not enemies. It's the dogs that guard you who create this conflict. They bark at us and keep us away, but we only want to be your friends. The sheep, easily fooled, believed the trick. They started to view their protectors differently, not as guards, but as chains limiting their freedom. They spoke to the dogs, saying, You haven't protected us, you've controlled us. Silly sheep, they left, thinking they were better off alone. That night, the wolves feasted like never before. How often do we see loved ones as too controlling? We accuse them, but really, they're just shielding us from society's wolves.
One day, a musician who was having a hard time sat on a street corner playing his guitar with love. Across the busy street, a famous band played loudly on a big stage with lots of people cheering. The musician felt sad seeing them, but he kept playing his guitar putting all his feelings into the music, determined to keep doing what he loved. As time passed, his girlfriend told him to try to become famous, but he stayed focused on his music. He played in different places, like on the street and in small cafes. One evening, someone who finds talented people came up to him, offering a chance to make records, but he said no. He understood that real success wasn't about being famous or having lots of money, but about doing what he loved. One day, a poor guy and his girlfriend were at a cafe having a simple meal. They saw another couple ordering fancy food and drinks. The guy noticed his girlfriend staring at them but didn't say anything. Later, they argued about money. She wanted him to earn more for a better life. Everyone lives well, but not with you, she said. I need time, and we'll have everything. Love and respect matter most, he replied. Love alone isn't enough she said angrily and left. Days passed, and she didn't return his calls. He realized she had left him. Life went on. He worked hard and became wealthy. One day, he spotted his ex-girlfriend with a new boyfriend at the restaurant. He asked, what would you like to eat? Surprised, she said, the most expensive dish. He brought it and said, it's on the house, but you can't afford it, she said. He smiled at her and replied, I can, I'm the owner. Once there was a young girl who loved baking cookies with her grandmother. One day, the grandmother fell ill, and they couldn't bake together anymore. The girl missed those moments dearly and wished she could bake with her grandmother again. Determined to bring joy back into their kitchen, the girl decided to bake cookies on her own. She gathered the ingredients and followed her grandmother's recipes carefully. As the cookies baked in the oven, the aroma filled the house, reminding her of the special times she shared with her grandmother. When the cookies were ready, the girl packaged them beautifully and took them to her grandmother's bedside. Seeing the surprise, her grandmother's eyes sparkled with happiness. They shared the cookies, savoring the taste and the memories they held. Do you have a similar moment shared with your grandmother? One day, a grandfather set up a challenge for his grandson to not use any technology for a day. If he could do it, he would get the grandfather's old motorbike. The grandson happily agreed and stopped using every sort of technology. He spent the day outside, exploring nature, climbing trees, and playing with friends. They laughed and talked and swam in the river. When the sun went down, he felt really happy, understanding that simple things are important. But when he got home, he heard sad Bad news. His grandfather had passed away quietly. Beside him was a note. Enjoy every moment, my dear. Don't have regrets. The grandson felt sad, but knew what his grandfather meant. He promised to treasure every moment and find joy in simple things. Time goes by fast, and the simple moments are the most special. Don't waste your life. Appreciate every moment. One day, a little girl was selling flowers. A man approached the girl and asked, How much for one flower? The girl replied with a smile, Two dollars. The man bought one flower and gave the little girl four dollars. Wait for the change, sir, said the little girl. But the man left. The next day, a woman bought an entire bouquet of flowers and paid double. On the third day, the girl came to sell flowers again and saw a long line of people in front of her table. She sold all the flowers and didn't have any left. The girl started counting the money she earned and began to cry. The man who bought flowers from the girl passed by. He asked the girl, Why are you crying? You sold all the flowers. But the girl sadly answered, My dad is sick. I am collecting money for his treatment. I thought I would be able to help him, but I still don't have enough money. The man was shocked and said, Take me to your father. I will pay for his treatment. One day, the boy and his mom went to buy shoes. They picked out a pair, but when they left the store, the boy shouted, I hate these shoes. His mom reminded him, you chose them. The boy got mad and threw the shoes in the trash, saying, that's where they belong. His mom felt sad because she spent all her money on them. The boy yelled, I wish I had a better mom. Then he walked home alone. Suddenly, he saw a girl crying outside a shoe store. She didn't have any shoes. The boy asked, why do you want those shoes? The girl said, I'm asking God to give them to me. The boy felt sorry for her and asked, 
Where are your mom and dad? The girl said sadly. They left me when I was born. The boy started crying and ran back to his mom, saying, I'm sorry. He took the shoes he threw away and gave them to the girl, saying, Take them. You need them more than me. Once, a boy named Jack always complained about his small bike. He wanted a bigger, fancier one. Every day, he'd tell his parents, I want a new bike. One day, they surprised him with one. But Jack wasn't satisfied. He wanted more. While riding his new bike, he saw a girl with no bike at all. She walked long distances every day. Jack felt bad for her. He realized how lucky he was to have any bike at all. From that day on, Jack stopped asking for more and started appreciating what he had. He even decided to share his bike with others who needed it, offering to let his friends take turns riding it. Through his act of kindness, Jack learned that true happiness doesn't come from having more things, but from gratitude and helping others in need.